Hey guys, this is Heinkube and today I will provide you with 5 tips to improve your last layer. These will range from easiest to hardest, so let's get started. Tip 1. Learn to look OLL. In my opinion, this is more important than to look PLL because commutators are quite fast, but the beginner's way of doing OLL is really slow, where you just repeat the sexy move over and over until each corner is oriented. There are only 19 algorithms in total and a lot of the algorithms you will know from 3x3. For instance, this is the soon on the 3x3 and this is the back soon on the 3x3. Tip 2. Learn to look parallel. This is harder to learn than to look OLAL, but it's still worth it. Getting your PLL down to 5 seconds will improve your times a lot. There's a total of tw 20 algorithms and they are quite difficult to learn. If you really don't want to learn everything, then you can still use commutators for the 5 corner cycles, which means you only have to learn 12 algorithms. In the long run, once you start learning 4 PLL, you can't uh, still use commutators. So if you are serious about Megamings, learn all these algorithms. Here's a video of me showing all the two look PLLs and two look OLLs. Tip 3. Predict the permutation of the edges while you are doing your corner orientation. What I mean by this is, let's take for instance anti soon. With anti soon I, and soon, I know this piece will stay the same, this edge will stay here. So I know once I do the algorithm, immediately afterwards I have to do a U prime to align it here. So I'm going to do the algorithm and immediately align it here. And now I can quickly scan for the, for the other piece. And if you can't find a, another piece that is permitted, then it's either this case where these two swap, and if it's not that case, then you can quickly just do a U2 prime or U prime or whatever to, to find it. And this will help a lot, because if you were to do, let's say, the anti zoom from this angle, and you didn't know that, then you, will, then you won't know where to look. And then you'll panic, and you don't know what to do, and it will take a second or two for your uh, recognition. And how you do this is you just go through your algorithms and see if this piece moves everywhere, anywhere, and then you can figure out what to do immediately after you do the algorithm. Tip 4. Learn alternative edge orientation algorithms. You want to avoid the five corner orientation cases as much as possible, so therefore you can't only use one algorithm per edge orientation case. For instance, the normal way to solve this is F6 move F prime. But I know when I do the F6 move F prime, this corner, if it's oriented, will change. This one uh, won't, this one won't, and this one won't. So therefore, it will be the five a corner orientation, which is not a good case. So a uh, other algorithm you can use is this one, if you see that. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. And now one corner will be oriented. Another case is like this. The normal way we do this is F reverse sexy move F prime. But I know that when I do the F reverse sexy move F prime, these two corners, if they are oriented, they won't be after the algorithm. And so by doing that algorithm, we get this case. So a different algorithm you can use is this one. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. And now one corner will be oriented. For me, I only use those four algorithms because for 90% of the times, it will work. But if you really never want to get the five corner orientation algorithms, then you can learn more. And there's an easy way to test this. You can just take a free by free and look for some algorithms that will do the same thing as the, for instance, the F6 move F prime. And then you can see what corners it affects and how it affects them. But for me, per, uh, honestly, uh, two per case is really enough. I'm just quickly going to explain what I just said. So what I said is you need to go to 3 by 3 and look at some OLLs and try to figure out what OLL does the same. So for instance, when I show this one, this case, it's the same as this OLL. So what you can do is you can look, go through some OLLs and see if they uh, do the same as F6 move F prime or F reverse move F prime and just see what corners they affect and then you can from there on decide how many you want to learn. Tip 5. Learn more PLLs. This is probably the tip that's the most debated on whether it really helps and when you should learn it. My logic when it comes to full PLL is to focus on the more important things like F2L and S2L and whenever you take a break, learn one or two algorithms. Megaminx full PLL won't make the biggest difference but if you are serious about Megaminx, you will have to learn them eventually. So the sooner the better. 
Just don't spend all your time on PLL since it will only help with a couple of seconds and there are 151 cases. There are many spreadsheets from where you can learn for PLL, so I put two links in the description below from the ones that I personally use, from Raw Low and James McDermott. So learn a couple a week and don't force them. I know about 40 PLLs and I'm averaging 51 seconds. To end the point, don't overflow yourself with algorithms, but learn them if you are serious about Megamix. Bonus tip. This is a tip that won't help a lot, but it is uh, helpful if you want to learn it. So you can learn more OLLs by doing this. Go to your 3x3 and look at all the OLL uh, algorithms. So let's take for instance this one. Then you do the reverse of that OLL algorithm and then look at what case you get. And then you can learn that OLL. So that's just a way to get some 20 or 30 more OLLs. It won't make a massive difference since there are a lot of OLLs, but it will help you in some situations. But really, this isn't mandatory. You can learn this if you want. If you like to learn algorithms, learn it. But please don't learn too much. You already have to learn for PLL, which is also a lot of algorithms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And yeah, don't overflow yourself with algorithms. Yes, last lay is important, but it's not nearly as important as STL and FTL. First work on those and gradually progress with last layer. And eventually you'll get your last layer down, um, down to 7 or 8 seconds, which is really good. And it will help a lot since most uh, average uh, Megamix solvers last layer is between 15 and 20 seconds. So it does help a little bit. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And